Sir. Thank you for introducing Korea so, and uh, he's there. Uh, very very grateful, uh, Kalan, for you to join me. And uh, but we would like to hear from you. And uh, in IIT Guwahati, we have a number of delegates here who have come from skills from all over the country. And uh, we have a lot of vice chancellors here. We want to hear from your experience as to how skilling, in fact, the way you have uh, made digital welding possible, and uh, your uh, and your vision for skilling uh, for the for the country and for the northeast. Uh, we would like to hear from you. And uh, I'm extremely sorry for having you uh, for having kept you. Yes, please. Uh, thank you. It's a privilege I'm here in person. But I think uh, I had a few other engagements that held me back from traveling on these particular days. Um, I hope to be able to come there and uh, uh, interact with all of you. The Northeast has always uh, uh, sort of awed me as a place with so much potential. And uh, somehow I feel that these uh, states have always um, been sort of punching below their weight. There's a lot more that they can accomplish in terms of potential than what they are already known for. And of course, they are known for a number of great things. First of all, I think at least all over South India, where I am from, there are a large number of people from Northeast working in various sectors from uh, IT industry to hospitality. And they are regarded as people with extremely good work ethic and a lot of um, uh, people have fond memories of the uh, one-horned rhino, which is just to show how much potential there is in terms of uh, tourism, reserve parks, the Brahmaputra. All of these offer an abundance of opportunity for the tourism and hospitality sector. And uh, increasingly, the black rice of Assam is becoming more and more popular for its various um, qualities. And a whole lot of other agricultural produce that I got to see when I visited uh, Assam. I think that one can create a whole nutraceutical industry around it. And uh, apart from that, of course, all the different emerging areas where one does not have the handicap of legacy uh, industry, I, it doesn't matter if. 30 years ago, there were no steel plants. 50 years ago, there were no automotive companies and things like that. Uh, there are a lot of emerging areas related to green energy, electric vehicles, solar pumps, uh, and so on and so forth, uh, apart from a lot of engineering services uh, for which the entire world is a market, which I think the very strong uh, human resource base of uh, the Northeast is well poised to take advantage of and uh, I'm not even going into the different uh, artisan products and unique items that the Northeast is very well known for starting from bamboo to airy and rami and a whole lot of other fibers all of these there is a lot of opportunity to repackage them make the offerings more contemporary and uh, really create a very vibrant economic system and in this context i will uh, like to allude to what uh, uh, mr kalyan chakravarti mentioned about uh, skilling because that's really at the core of all things that we want to do um, that we need to have a capable uh, pool of men and women who are uh, imbued with the skills needed and in that context uh, i have uh, been part of an initiative that is trying to promote virtual reality and augmented reality based skill training i will just show three or four short clips about how we do this and i think this will tremendously reduce the costs and entry barriers for people who want to learn any of the skills and kind of democratize uh, upskilling. So let me take you through a few of these short um, clips. Yeah, Dr. Kannan, uh, thank you for that wonderful talk and uh, a presentation. Let me just uh, go.
this is how we create a virtual uh, factory where welding takes place and uh, by entering this virtual environment a student can see all the things that would be there in the real factory and uh, get into the position and press the trigger button on the controller to start welding and by operating the different knobs following the instructions that are given uh, in the background the person can actually learn the skill without risk of injury and without uh, expenditure of consumables and as the person performs the operations the virtual screen gives a number of cues and feedbacks to tell the person what he or she is doing right wrong it's a performance analysis it's not just a matter of giving a score but one can uh, take sections and look at x-ray views all of these will be very time consuming and expensive if performed in the real world and a whole lot of industries in automotive and other sectors are using these tools to uh, accelerate the upskilling of their workforce i'll just show you one other this is about installing a solar panel at the roof of a house by studying what will be the orientation of the sun and then wiring up the system connecting the battery all of that zero cost uh, and uh, a very realistic manner of accessing the different parts the different tools uh, and performing the different operations knowing whether they have been done correctly getting feedback all of this can happen without need for a trainer or consumables without risk to the person and once a person acquires a certain level of proficiency of course this is not a 100% replacement for training on the real thing but one can increase the throughput of the number of people being trained and the cost of training and the duration of training tremendously by making available these uh, uh, technology tools we have also used this in school education where uh, students can perform things that are otherwise too difficult or dangerous to do in real life as you will see here sodium is being put in water if you do this in real life it can be very dangerous sodium reacts with water producing sodium hydroxide and hydrogen gas the engine to cause explosion and the entire thing is done in a manner which is gamified which means it's like a play the students don't even feel that this is a burden that they have to learn so this is a basketball game which can be played on different planets to understand what is acceleration due to gravity what is its effect on the trajectory 
Right now, this game is being played on Earth. This is on the moon. And now the game has moved to Mars. One can walk around, look at what went right, what went wrong, and get a strong intuitive understanding of what the parabolic path really is like. Anyway, this is what I had to uh, show just to give you an overview. I'll stop the sharing. Uh, I will be very happy to take any questions, and yeah. uh, certainly I'll be glad to work with the governments in the Northeast to see how uh, we can contribute to the growth and the prosperity of the area. So thank you very much, uh, <clears throat> Kanan. Uh, basically, uh, you have showed as to how our students in ITIs can actually do the tasks which are they are doing physically. They can do it uh, in a gamified manner, uh, in a virtual mode, and uh, get uh, uh, to be a part of this. So, we in the Skill University, we have, of course, long-distance digital learning. And uh, since you represent IIT Madras and uh, Skillvery represents uh, IIT Madras Innovation Center, I do hope our, uh, our Vice Chancellor is here, and uh, we will definitely try and explore as to how we can get these models for our children uh, for long-distance learning. This will be a very useful tool, especially both in schools and also for the students. And uh, some of the students, if it can be made into an app or if it can be made into some sort of a package, they can, they can actually take it on their uh, mobile phones and also do it. I do not know if that's possible or only in the computer. But this is something that we would definitely like to explore. Uh, there are a number of skills like that we need to uh, definitely explore before, of course. It's got to be a hybrid thing. Some of it is virtual. Some of it will be uh, actually like trying it out after understanding it, after they uh, uh, achieve a certain thing. But uh, yeah, thank you. Kunba Kiba Prashnu Hudibo Kujise Niki, Apna Hokol Jibure Hiki Ase, ITI, Etumane, Apuni, Computer Utu Kuriba Parabuli, Takete Jonale. Any questions from your side? Any students? Okay. Thank you very much for your time. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. It's my pleasure. Look forward to coming there some Thank you very much.